I want to talk to you about the future, actually, yep. because right now we have a new president. Yep. Kids are in school under a different president, yep. President Trump, and his administration has announced some delays in rules that were put in place under the Obama administration, such as um, rules meant to reduce sodium and meet higher whole grain requirements in yep. school lunches. Um, how concerned are you that your efforts will be rolled back? Um, so I, um, well, first I'd say, I think it's insane to undermine the nutritional quality of the food that taxpayer dollars are funding for kids around the country. Particularly given that one in three kids are on track to have diabetes in their lifetime and one in three kids are overweight or obese. I mean, it's just crazy uh, and pretty shameful. I will say um, the two things that they've done uh, in, in the school realm aren't great. Um, they should be strengthening. They should be saying we didn't do enough. They should be saying, here's more money, here's better standards. Like, that's what they should be doing. They're obviously not going to do that. Um, but the things that they've done, I don't feel strike at the heart of the work that we did. Mm -hmm. So I feel pretty good about, at least at this point, um, sort of how the, the work has mm -hmm. held up, the integrity of the work. Now, we're not even a, a year in. I don't know. It feels like forever. But, uh, you know, so... We'll see what happens. Um, there's a long way to go. Um, definitely Republicans on the Hill are eager to block grant the school nutrition program, meaning like cut it up and just give states dollar amounts to implement and leave it up to them to decide what to do. And we, why shouldn't they? That would be a disaster. Really, it's a red herring. It's a, they want, that, that would be the way that they cut, dramatically cut funding for the program mm -hmm. so, um, and limit, depend, like, depending on how many kids need whatever services in school lunch, they still get the same amount of money. So it's a way to cut mm. dramatically the amount of money that's flowing to school lunch. But states and schools might say, we want to have more control of what we're serving our kids. We don't want the government to tell us. Yeah, that's great. And um, I, I understand that would be their point. And if they want the right to serve their kids like candy bars, I don't think they should have that right. I think if taxpayer dollars are funding this program, there should be a basic standard based on science about what's good for these kids health, well-being, um, and long-term vitality. Because in the end, we're going to pay for it one way or the other. Uh, the, the projections of one in three kids having diabetes in this country, what the, our health care system will simply collapse. I don't care Obamacare, Trump care, somebody else's care. There is no program that will be able to deal with a, a society that is one in, out of three is diabetic. Um, so we just can't afford these sort of political games with the future of our children and the future of our country. So I, I, I wholeheartedly reject that, um, that notion. Um, so if, if some states want to do better, go right ahead. But there's got to be a, a floor about what we expect um, our kids to be eating, and it shouldn't be whatever they want. I mean, so the government, the federal government, you're saying, and we've seen through your experiences, should have a role in showing and regulating what and how kids eat in school. Absol well, absolutely. I mean, there's no, there's no way around that. I mean, if we believe that kids have a right to have a lunch, and we believe that particularly for low-income kids who can't afford a lunch, they, they should eat something, and that ultimately whether, I, I would much prefer everybody have better jobs, higher paying jobs, maybe they could take it all in their own hands, but a lot of kids are very poor and don't have any food. So if we're going to solve that problem, which is absolutely critical to the success of our education system, then there has to be some basic standards by, that determine what we serve. Um, and if, I'm, if my money is going to this as a taxpayer, I want to make sure that I'm not funding a diabetic child, mm -hmm. <laughs> that I will then have to pay even more money in 20 years and that my kids are going to have to pay for. So I, I don't think there's much of a question on this. Um, you can argue around the edges around where you should set the sodium standards. Mm -hmm. But when we know that hypertension is killing 40,000 people a year, you think we shouldn't have some basic restrictions on how much sodium we can be piling on a school for a little kid? So, I, you know, for me, this debate has uh, been settled a long time ago.